everyone, today I'm going to be doing a demo of a Lush Fresh Face Mask. These retail for $7.95 and Lush has all sorts of different varieties depending on um, your skin problems and things like that. Now these are fresh face masks so they need to be refrigerated and when you purchase them at a Lush store they actually have them in the refrigerator section. So they don't have a very long shelf life because of all of the fresh ingredients that they use. I purchase the Love Lettuce Face Mask. Alright, so our Love Lettuce Face Mask looks like this. It's nice green, witchy poo green. Um, this has almond and lavender and all sorts of good things for your skin inside. Um, it doesn't it doesn't really have much of a smell. I do smell the lavender a little bit, but other than that, it's not really have much of a smell. Um, the texture is just like any other face mask, kind of gloopy. I'm just gonna put some on my hand here so you can see a little better. But we're gonna slather this all over my face and see what it's like. All right, I'm just gonna start slather. Oh, it's cold. Um, like I said, you have to keep this in the refrigerator, so it is going to be cold on your skin. So we're just going to slather it on until we look like the Wicked Witch of the West. And Lush has it recommended that you keep it on for 10 minutes. And like I said, this one has um, like crushed almond, crushed almonds inside, so it's going to exfoliate a little bit while you're... Um, you know rubbing it on and obviously when you're taking it off as well it feels really nice great wonderful green color hopefully no one rings my doorbell anytime soon or else they're gonna be scared out of their mind when I answer the door Alright, uh, this is for my first application. I'll be back each time letting you guys know uh, each day how it's working, how it's feeling, and all of that. So stay tuned. This is day two of my face mask. Alright, this is um, this is application number three for my Love Lettuce face mask. I think this is working rather well so far. I bought this specifically because I was having some dry patches on my skin and I feel like it's helping with that. I feel like my makeup is going on a lot smoother because of this. So, I definitely am liking this mask. to be my fifth application of the Love Lettuce Mask. I have been using this for a little over a week. I haven't been using it every day, more like every other day, um, but I'm really liking it so far. I have about, I'd say, one, maybe two more applications left. I'm not layering it on like too thick. This is going to be my last one that I'm filming, but I will be back with what I thought of the Love Lettuce face mask. I just wanted to finish off the Love Lettuce face mask video with my final thoughts on the product. This is my first Lush face mask video, so I want you guys to let me know if you enjoyed this video, if you think I should try out some other masks. Now, I also wanted to mention, once you use up five of these black pots, you can take it back to a Lush store and you can get a free fresh face mask with 
um, the return of five of these pots. Um, just make sure you clean them out a little bit before you take them in. Um, so that's really nice that they allow you to recycle the packaging and you get a free face mask in return. And they'll take these small pots and also like the larger pots that some of their um, products come in. So as far as the Love Lettuce um, face mask goes, I did enjoy this face mask, but I am really curious to try some other ones. Um, I wouldn't say this is my favorite yet because, you know, I haven't tried others to compare it to. This one had the almond shells in it, so I have very sensitive skin, like very, very sensitive skin, and scrubbing, well not necessarily scrubbing, but you know, when you're putting it on and even like when taking it off, the shells kind of scratch your face a little bit. So if you do have sensitive skin, that might be a little irritating. Um, those shells that are in the Love Lettuce. So I think next time I want to try a mask that doesn't have like the little, maybe the bits in, like the almond shells that were in this one. However, I did feel that was good as far as the exfoliation goes. I felt like um, my makeup went on a little smoother. Um, I do have, um, I'm prone to like the dry kind of um, flaky bits on my face, especially like around my nose and stuff like that. So I felt like that really helped with that because um, I got a good exfoliation with this, but since my skin's so sensitive, it kind of irritated it as well. So overall, I mean, I maybe repurchase this, but like I said, I want to try some other masks. So I want you to let me know what face mask you think I should try next time, um, what your favorite is, what you think might be good for my sensitive skin. I'm just curious about something real quick. I was told that underneath the, um, the little stickers here that show who made your product and how long it's good for, there was like something underneath the sticker and I've never peeled them off so I can't say for sure. So I wanna see if that's true. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoops, my whole thing peeled off. It is. Look, underneath here, there's like just little wordings. Mine says let us pray. Get it? Let us pray. Let us, let us face mask, let us pray. That is cute. Now I'm gonna have to go peel off all of those little stickers on all of my Lush products because I wanna see what it says under them. Anyway, that's totally random. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy this face mask video. Again, just leave all of your comments down below what you thought of it, what I should try next, what your favorite mask is. I just wanna know everything. We'll see you next time.